oh so tired <laughs> i need to get ready i have like half an hour Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Daria, I'm 32 years old and I'm expat living in Edinburgh, Scotland and today I'm taking you on a little road trip So I woke up quite early because we're going to Loch Lomond I cannot believe that I have not been there before, it's so close and it's such an iconic place But honestly, it was better than I expected. There were so many people kayaking and just playing in water and chilling, barbecuing. It was such a nice day. It is so warm. I regret not bringing bathing suit and also I'm wearing what? Black. <laughs> it's so nice. It's my first time here, but I love it. Although I wish it would be more sandy because I feel like I'm going to break my ankle at any point and it's quite difficult to walk, but the water is not cold. I'm a bit surprised because it's only June. Yeah, looks great. We went for lunch when I ordered Caesar salad and Diet Coke. Oh my God, if you know, you know. The best combo. We were driving and I noticed Highland Coos. Well, scratch that. There was a Highland Coo and a Highland Bowl. It was so cool. I love that sign, beware of haggis, keep out. So basically there's like this ongoing joke about haggis that uh, it's real, it's an animal that you hunt in highlands. <laughs> and then we went to killing and as you can see, it was very, very beautiful. We couldn't stay there for long because we had to be home around 7, so then we drove back home. Oh my god, so we had all the problems. I think that was one of the most difficult car rentals I've ever experienced. <laughs> so we booked um, this rental car. Um, I don't remember the name of this app. So basically, the way it works, you book a car um, through this app and then you go and pick it up and you open it with the app. And each time you need to like start the engine or something, you, you need to like use the app to do that. And Valentina went to pick up the car and she couldn't get inside. Um, and she contacted co um, customer service. And they said that this car is broken and you need to call them each time for them to like open the car and then start the engine and all of that. And we were going up north when there's no signal and they kept insisting, oh, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. But like, <laughs> no. So we've decided not to book this car and they give us the money back and then we booked it online with the car rental place. Um, so we went to the airport to pick up the car <laughs> and then it turns out they cancelled the booking for some reason um, because we booked through like third party, not through them. And they said for security reasons, whatever that means. And then we had to wait for like another half an hour. Like it was just whole thing and we're supposed to leave at 8 30 in the morning and eventually we left at noon so basically we only had like half a day there because we had to be back in edinburgh around like 6 30 because valentina and her friend they had dinner plans which was okay for me because i could chill um but yes i honestly would not use that car service again the first one they opened with the app 
yeah, if you, if you want to like drive here in Edinburgh, go to Glasgow, yes, fair. But if you want to go like to Highlands or whatever, I don't think that's a great idea because imagine being stuck there and having no signal and the app doesn't work. Mm -mm. No, 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 not for me. But other than that, I had such a lovely day. The weather was just amazing and I was very, very angry at myself that I didn't bring any like swimsuit because I could have gone into water like 100%. It was not cold, um, it was like 26 degrees, the water was, well, it was not, the water was not warm, it's, you know, still Scotland, but it was not freezing. And yes, today we are going to St. Apps and Dunbar and Norberg, which I'm very, very excited for. Norberg is one of my favorite places here that you can go like nearby Edinburgh. I love the beach, I really love the beach, and it's, I'm gonna of course take you with me, I'm just gonna change my clothes, and there we go. Come on. First stop, Synapse. I just love coastal towns. I love them, love them, love them. Look how clean the water is. It's so beautiful. I have this story in my head. Oh, like moving to a place like that and falling in love with beautiful fishermen. I think I should write a book about that. <laughs> uh -huh. I almost didn't go today because I was lazy and I wanted a day for myself just you know do nothing but I really 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 like it. I'm super happy that I came here. It's not as sunny as it was yesterday, but I don't know. I think Scotland uh, looks much better when it's gloomy. I don't know. You can go all the way there, but we don't have time because we're meeting our friend in Dunbar and then we need to go to South Ber uh, North Berwick. Um, but yeah, next time, next time, definitely. And also I'm wearing a dress, so not really hike friendly attire although i hiked in this dress in sedona so everything is possible <laughs> then we went to dunbar it's very very cute town or village i'm not actually sure but the, i don't know what happened but the smell on the beach oh my god it literally smelled like rotten fish it was horrendous <laughs> So weird. So we went just for a little walk, went to a cafe, and then we went to North Berwick. tide was very low. I always confuse low and high tides. This was low, right? <laughs> so we stay at the beach for a little while and then the event of the day, fish and chips. Oh, guys, so good. And look how there was two pigeons kissing. <laughs> 